Ancient Estonia refers to a period covering history of Estonia from the middle of the 8th millennium BC until the conquest and subjugation of the Estonian people in the first quarter of the 13th century during the Northern Crusades, the Mesolithic period. The region has been populated since the end of the last glacial era, about 10,000 BC. The earliest traces of human settlement in Estonia are connected with Kunda culture. The oldest known settlement in Estonia is the Puli settlement, which was located on the banks of the river Panu, near the town of Sindi, in southwestern Estonia. It has been dated to the beginning of the 9th millennium BC. The Kunda culture received its name from the Lamashmai settlement site in northern Estonia, which dates from earlier than 8,500. Bone and stone artifacts similar to those found at Kunda have been discovered elsewhere in Estonia, as well as in Latvia, northern Lithuania and southern Finland. Among minerals flint and quartz was used the most for making cutting tools. The Neolithic period. The beginning of the Neolithic period is marked by the ceramics of the Nalva culture, which appears in Estonia at the beginning of the 5th millennium BC. The oldest finds date from around 4900 BC. The first pottery was made of thick clay mixed with pebbles, shells or plants. The Nalva type ceramics are found throughout almost the entire Estonian coastal region and on the islands. The stone and bone tools of the era have a notable similarity with the artifacts of the Kunda culture. Around the beginning of 4th millennium BC comb ceramic culture arrived in Estonia. Until the early 1980s the arrival of Finnic peoples, the ancestors of the Estonians, Finns, Livonians on the shores of Baltic Sea around was associated with the comb ceramic culture. However, such a linking of archaeologically defined cultural entities with linguistic ones cannot be proven and it has been suggested that the increase of settlement finds in the period is more likely to have been associated with an economic boom related to the warming of climate. Some researchers have even argued that a Uralic form of language may have been spoken in Estonia and Finland since the end of the last glaciation. The burial customs of the Combe pottery people included additions of figures of animals, birds, snakes and men carved from bone and amber. Antiquities from Combe pottery culture are found from northern Finland to eastern Prussia, late Neolithic, Chalcolithic. The beginning of the late Neolithic period about 2200 BC is characterized by the appearance of the corded ware culture, pottery with corded decoration and well-polished stone axes. Evidence of agriculture is provided by charred grain of wheat on the wall of a corded ware vessel found in IRU settlement. Osteological analysis show an attempt was made to domesticate the wild boar. Specific burial customs were characterized by the dead being laid on their sides with their knees pressed against their breast, one hand under the head. Objects placed into the graves were made of bones of domesticated animals. The Bronze Age The beginning of the Bronze Age in Estonia is dated to approximately 1800 BC. The development of the borders between the Finnic peoples and the Belts was underway. The first fortified settlements, ASVA and Radala on the island of Saaremaa and Iau in the northern Estonia began to be built. The development of shipbuilding facilitated the spread of bronze. Changes took place in burial customs, a new type of burial ground spread from Germanic to Estonian areas. Stone cis graves and cremation burials became increasingly common aside small number of boat-shaped stone graves. The Iron Age The pre-Roman Iron Age began in Estonia about 500 BC and lasted until the middle of the 1st century BC. The oldest iron items were imported, although since the 1st century iron was smelted from local Martian lake or settlement sites were located mostly in places that offered natural protection. Fortresses were built, although used temporarily. The appearance of square Celtic fields surrounded by enclosures in Estonia date from the pre-Roman Iron Age. The majority of stones with man-made indents, which presumably were connected with magic designed to increase crop fertility, date from this period. 
a new type of grave quadrangular burial mounds began to develop. Burial traditions show the clear beginning of social stratification. The Roman Iron Age in Estonia is roughly dated to between 50 and 450 AD, the era that was affected by the influence of the Roman Empire. In material culture this is reflected by few Roman coins, some jewellery and artefacts. The abundance of iron artifacts in southern Estonia speaks of closer mainland ties with southern areas while the islands of western and northern Estonia communicated with their neighbours mainly by sea. By the end of the period three clearly defined tribal dialectical areas. Northern Estonia, Southern Estonia, and Western Estonia had emerged, the population of each having formed its own understanding of identity. Early Middle Ages the name of Estonia occurs first in a form of a C in the 1st century AD by Tacitus. However, at this stage it probably indicated Baltic tribes living in the area of western Lithuania and the present-day Kaliningrad. In the Norse sagas the term apparently was used to indicate the Estonians. According to one interpretation, Ptolemy in his Geography 3 in the middle of the 2nd century AD mentions the Ozilians among other dwellers on the Baltic shore. The extent of Estonian territory in early medieval times is disputed but the nature of their religion is not. They were known to the Scandinavians as experts in wind magic, as were the Laps in the north. The name Estonia is first mentioned by Cassiodorus in his book V. Letters 1-2 dating from the 6th century. Saxo Grammaticus describes the Curonians and Estonians as participating in the Battle of Bravalla on the side of the Swedes against the Danes, who were aided by the Livonians in the Wens of Pomerania. It is notable that other Baltic tribes, i.e., the Letts and Lithuanians, are not mentioned by Saxo as participating in the fight. Snorra Sturluson relates in his Inglinga saga how the Swedish king Ingvar, the son of Austin and a great warrior, who was forced to patrol the shores of his kingdom fighting Estonian pirates. The saga speaks of his invasion of Estonia where he fell in a battle against the men of Estland who had come down with a great army. After the battle, King Ingvar was buried close to the seashore in Estonia and the Swedes returned home. According to Heimskringla sagas, in the year 967 the Norwegian Queen Astrid escaped with her son. In future king of Norway Olaf Trygesson from her homeland to Novgorod, where her brother Sigurd held an honoured position at the court of Prince Vladimir. On their journey, Iceland Vikings raided the ship, killing some of the crew and taking others into slavery. Six years later, when Sigurd Eriksson travelled to Iceland to collect taxes on behalf of Valdemar, he spotted Olaf in a market in an unmentioned city and paid for his freedom. A battle between Isalian and Icelandic Vikings off Saramar is described in N.J. saga as occurring in 972 AD. About 1008, Olaf the Holy, later king of Norway, landed on Saramar. The Isalians, taken by surprise, had at first agreed to pay the demands made by Olaf but then gathered an army during the negotiations and attacked the Norwegians. Olaf claimed to have won the battle. Olaf was the subject of several biographies, both hagiographies and sagas, in the Middle Ages, and many of the historical facts concerning his adventures are disputed. The Tudes as mentioned by a monk Nestor in the earliest Russian chronicles were the Estonians. According to Nestor in 1030 Yaroslav I, the wise invaded the country of the Chuds and laid the foundations of Uriev. According to Old East Slavic chronicles the Tudes were one of the founders of the Rus state. According to the Novgorod chronicle, Vaya Gulf from Novgorod was crushed by Estonians in a sea battle close to the town of Lindenize in 1032. In the first centuries AD political and administrative subdivisions began to emerge in Estonia. Two larger subdivisions appeared, the parish and the county. The parish consisted of several villages. Nearly all parishes had at least one fortress. The defense of the local area was directed by the highest official, the parish elder. 
The county was composed of several parishes, also headed by an elder. By the 13th century the following major counties had developed in Estonia. Saaremaa, Larnamaa, Harjumaa, Rivala, Viramaa, Javamaa, Sakala, and Ugandai. Estonia constitutes one of the richest territories in the Baltic for hordes from the 11th and the 12th centuries. The earliest coin hoards found in Estonia are Arabic dirhams from the 8th century. The largest Viking Age hoards found in Estonia have been at Maedler and Kose. Out of the 1500 coins published in catalogues, 1000 are Anglo Saxon. Varbola stronghold was one of the largest circular rampart fortress and trading centre built in Estonia, Harja County at the time. In the 11th century, the Scandinavians are frequently chronicled as combating the Vikings from the eastern shores of the Baltic Sea. With the rise of Christianity, centralized authority in Scandinavia and Germany eventually lead to Baltic Crusades. The East Baltic world was transformed by military conquest. First the Livs, Letton Estonians, then the Prussians and the Finns underwent defeat, baptism, military occupation and sometimes extermination by groups of Germans, Danes and Swedes.